Hello, Kulas. Welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on the latest stories. We start with Bernardo Silva, as it has been reported that Barcelona are preparing an offer for the midfield target and a player is excited to join the club. We are going to be discussing on that as we move ahead. Then secondly, talking about Robert Lewandowski, who recently had an interview with Spanish outlet Sport One, where he spoke about a variety of topics. He spoke about Karim Benzema, Real Madrid, Bayern Munich exit, and his goals at Barcelona. We are going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Barcelona's Frankie de Jong saga has taken up yet another storm as David Einstein has reported that the club has found his renewal contract signed back in 2020 to be null and void. They are threatening legal action against Frankie and everyone involved in the search, uh, including the old administration led by Jose Maria Bartomeu, if the Dutchman does not return to previous terms. He does have a way out. Though, as Chelsea and Manchester seem keen on his signature, both clubs have offered him to have offered him to repay his deferred salary. Should he leave, Fabrizio Romano reports that Barcelona are preparing an official offer for Manchester City's Bernardo Silva. The Portuguese is excited for that move, and the transfer could be finalized almost as soon as Frankie de Jong leaves. In fact, Bernardo is said to be looking for a new house in Barcelona with the help of. The same agency that aided Joe Kunde with his search. Should the move actually happen, Bernardo could be Barcelona's seventh signing this transfer window, following Pablo Torre, Francesi, Andres Christensen, Rafinha, Robert Lewandowski, and Joe Kunde in other. That said, Barca faced an uphill battle to register all these new signatures um, with La Liga, who have reportedly rejected the club's first attempt in case they face more trouble. President Joan Laporta is ready to activate the fourth economic lever in the form of the sale of another 24.5% of Barca Studios for another 100 million euros. Bernardo Silva is likely to cost the club a sum of worth 80 million, which could be balanced out with the young sale, should asking price quote around 85 million himself. If it does happen though, it could be the biggest arrival of the club since Luis Suarez. Barcelona himself. have been one of the most active, if not the most active team in the whole of Europe this summer. I don't think anybody can argue with that. Continue to work tirelessly to make sure that the team gets stronger and stronger for next season. It has not been an easy way, but so far I think the players that have come have been so brilliant, right? But we're not done. Marcos Alonso could be on his way next week. We know that. Um, then if Barca can get their hands on Manchester City sensation, Bernardo Silva, then we can say that the, the, the summer is a complete one for us. So Fabrizio Romano himself have said that, you know, Barca are preparing for their first official offer for Bernardo Silva of Manchester City. And it's going to be interesting to see how much or how is that offer going to be worth we know Manchester City have been demanding at least 80 million euros for the player. And from Barca's point of view, it might be much good and fine, but we know the quality that Bernardo Silva brings to the pitch. And there have been a lot of talk about this move for Bernardo Silva, you know, strongly dependent on the future of Frankie de Jong. You know, Frankie de Jong's future at Barca is still a very hot topic of discussion. Lately, we even got reports of maybe legal action likely to be taken against Frankie de Jong agent and Bartomeu's um, regime for invalid contract um, renewal back in 2020. We don't know how true that is, but this is just making matters worse when it comes to Frankie de Jong's time at Barcelona. You know, but let's forget about that. Talking about Bernardo Silva. You know, transfer expert Fabrizio Romano have already made it clear that Barca are preparing their first official offer. So, if that will be enough for Manchester City to be convinced on letting their star guy leave, it's going to be a very big question. So, it's not a hidden secret that Barcelona really, really wants Bernardo Silva to join this summer. And Bernardo Silva himself, according to what we have been hearing, I've already started looking for a house. I've already started looking for a house in Barcelona. The very agent that Joe Kunde used to look for his own house, the same agent 
from what I'm getting, the same agent that Bernardo Silva has been using to search a new home for him at Barcelona. So interesting to see what happens in the next few weeks. The player is patiently waiting for Barcelona to make that move as soon as possible. You know, as La Liga kicks off this coming Saturday, the player against Rayo Vallecano. Then moving on to the next story of discussion, newly signed FC Barcelona superstar Robert Lewandowski has recently sat down with Sport One for an exclusive interview where the striker discusses he discussed various topics, including his relationship with Bayern Munich and Yuli Hones, the president. But before anything else, though, Lewandowski, he praised on Barcelona for pulling off an excellent presentation of the Camp Nou, as attracting up to 57,000 fans, more than Ronaldinho or Neymar's unveiling, the superstar said. I wouldn't have expected so many fans. It doesn't matter that they were more with me than with other players like Ronaldinho. Those were other times anyway. In the end, it is very nice if you receive so much support directly. Such experiences remain forever, said Lewandowski. The forward went to talk about his deceased dad and how glad he would have been of his son's achievement. He said, Dad would have been very, very proud and satisfied. He always told me in my childhood that he dares me to reach the highest level one day. This gave me a lot of motivation and hope to achieve my dreams and miss him. I, I am sad that he could not experience all this, whether in Dortmund, Munich or now Barcelona. But I'm sure he is sitting up there in the front row and is proudly looking down at me. Lewandowski joined Barcelona after eight successful years at Bayern Munich, during which he netted as many as 344 goals in just 375 competitive matches. Speaking about his farewell to at Bayern, Lewandowski added, It was a strange feeling to go to the training ground for the first time. The association and the city mean a lot to me. When I think back alone to the five goals against Wolfsburg, um, the 4-1 goals in the Bundesliga, or the sextuple with Hansi Flick, these are wonderful moments. When asked about his decision to force an exit from the Allianz Arena and join Barca, the forward replied, It's as it is. We made history together and I always gave 100%. There was no day when I leaned back. Those responsible also know that. Um, mutual gratitude, mutual respect, that's how we stay together. FC Bayern will always remain in my heart, said Lewandowski. Lewa went on to reveal his final dialogue with those in charge of Bayern Munich, including Yuli Hones, he said. We exchanged ideas kindly with each other, handed our, our hands. In the end, the positive prevails. I spoke to everyone again, Hassan Oli included Uli Hones. He said that he always has an open ear for me and I can always call him when I need anything. That was very much nice. He is a great personality and I am grateful to him but also to all other people from the board. It was important for me that nothing negative gets stuck at the farewell, he said when asked about his final dialogue with Hornets. Ever since the arrival of Robert Lewandowski, La Liga fans have already started dreaming about another great attacking rivalry between the Paul and Real Madrid superstar Karim Benzema. However, Lewandowski insists he is not driven by personal glory and only wants to succeed as a collective unit at Barcelona. He said, I look at myself and my team, not at others. Of course, you are looking forward to games like the Clasico and Benzema is a great striker. But in the end, it's about winning titles with Barca. Everything else is irrelevant. Finally, Lewandowski was asked about the Ballon d'Or amid speculation that he chose Barcelona simply to win the, the, the Ballon d'Or, which is a coveted prize award. But the striker was quickly to deny those claims. He said, I have always said that the success of the team drives me. Such prizes are nice extras. But that's not why I wanted to go to Spain. What was partly written was not true, he said. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.